Hi everyone, today we're going to be learning how to add someone to a photo and I'm going to be showing you tips and tricks on how to make the colors look realistic. So here we have this photo. I've already added them in, but don't worry, I'll show you. So the first layer, I always like to make two. I love this photo, but they want a photo of them smiling, smiling but with the white background. So there's two things that you could do. You could technically replace the background and make it, but I think it would just be easier to move them over. And so I like to make a selection and then go over and select and mask and just kind of mask it in. I prefer to over select and then erase later. Some people like to select exactly, right? You can go in here and zoom in and erase what you need. But for some reason in the past, I feel like I always end up erasing what's on them anyway. So I just like to overfill and then click OK and just do Control C or the handles or the controls are right here. Um, copy and paste. And then we're going to go over to this one and just paste it in. So now I've already done that and I've already kind of minimized it to their height. They obviously are still showing a little bit before. So what I'm going to do is just remove them. If you watched my last video, you learned that the clone stamp can kind of help with this. Perfect. And now for the erasing part, you just go over to your eraser and depending on what you like, I would just go to the hardness. That way you can get a nice mixture on the right layer, nice sharp edge. And voila. I don't know if you could see my dog in this video, but she hangs out with me all day. Another trick if you're erasing, like what I like to do, is go over Alt and click. And this kind of picks up what colors you don't like. Look at it now, it kind of looks realistic, but they look a little pasted in there. So one, I like to have one normal layer. And first things first, before making manual adjustments, I like to test this trick out. So go to image, adjustments, and then match color. So it's gonna pull up this little diagram thing, and then you choose your file, and then which layer you want it to copy from. I'm gonna go through here and then clone stamp the grass in, but I do want to keep especially this part because you can recreate shadows, which I'll show you in a little bit, but sometimes if you can keep them, that's my favorite to do because it looks the most realistic. And then from the original, it does look like the sun is coming pretty, like from behind the photographer on them and the shadow is going over there. So I'm just gonna create a little shadow just behind her dress. Spent a bunch of time kind of doing like what I showed you guys with the suit, just pulling from the hair from the original and adding to it on this one. This photo is really nice since I do have a reference photo. If you don't, I recommend using generative fill or you can use a paintbrush and pull from the colors that you like and start painting. Literally just try making it your own. I don't want you to get frustrated with your own photo being like, I don't have that example. I can't do that. It really is just a piece of artwork. Anyway, love you guys and have a good day.